But we're back in action. We certainly are back to the scene of the crime. We jump right back into the action around this one. Lux Laser goes amiss. Fate still just barely clipping Decoy. He gets the hack and slash. He gets that kill. That's what they need. They're playing for an elder now. It's only 35 minutes into this game. Kiste's got to well, there is the double. That's what Kiste wants. Turrets are falling. Fights are continuing. Members are dropping like flies. Alador gets flashed upon by Zoranis. But it's now Praetor's time to shine as he finds the shotgun. That's what he needs. Turrets Watch can't be dead. stopped. They're still trying to find him. Praetor completely untouched across the wall. But how durable is this Cassante? Untouchable. That's going to be an inhibitor. We'll see what else they can look towards because they're still hunting for Babip. They want and they got him. Oh, they've got the knockback. Maybe the game. They're looking at turrets at the very least. Aladoric up in one second, 10 seconds on the next member's spawning. They'll take the turret for sure. Let's see what they choose to do from here on out. Full combo Teleport going out in. there on towards Predator. Can they do anything else to try and deny this one? Three members coming in here. Chairs with a the TP. They're going to go for the massive amount of damage onto the next to end the game right here and now. Chairs can do it all on his own. It's ended. It is done. Phenomenal job of peeling for him, but Chaz in the right space at the right time, burning that flash. Out goes the arrow once again, but it gets immune. Beautiful work there by the Gwen. Look at Zaranus as well here. They're, They're in the pit. He's stolen. 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 Poltron's taking the Baron. Ten seconds. He's looking for that flank. Dante here on his own so far. Hook shot across the wall. This is your worst case nightmare. Has to flash to his tower. That means Zaranus is chasing in hot pursuit. He's going to find the kill. Hexagon to make him guarantees it. He's going to get out of range of that tower, no matter how empowered it might be. Chaz just annihilates Gooby. And they might do just what you said. If they can get an ace here, they get the dragon, they deny the point, and they get a little bit more. Perfect ace with a triple to boot. You certainly can't get too chuffed with your performance just yet. There is still more to be done. 20 minutes in, down comes the laser one more time, and Chesney is now on a double kill. He's got the Rylai. So how do you escape this Aurelian soul just farming you up, sitting on a triple? We talk about it being the Zeri show, but right now it's the Quadra show. They want to give him this the man the pentakill on the debut. Make it happen. Come on, Chess. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, here we go. Podron's fan, explosive cast that splits the team apart. Schoenfire tries to hit back with that cyclone, and it's successful because the solar flare goes down. There's the Naro into two, but Chippy's has flashed away, and Schoenfire survives. But Dongy's going to die again. Violet falls to cleanse. And PGG have been routed into the bottom lane. That's a flash Featherstorm to try and rip back and try and find more. And they will find just that. There's two. That's a double for an arc. Make it a triple, actually. And Zappi's relegated himself to saying, have the ace and have the quadra two. Ultron. Oh, Ultron has been caught, but the same could be said for Schoenfire here. Goes for the body slam, goes for the flash out, and Appy jumps in. There's the killer instinct. Violet is going to try and turn it up to 11 right now. He's found one. He's looking for the second, and he will claim that second, cleansing out of harm's way, and wants the third. So, is the next one on the menu. He would love that shutdown. He just needs to find it. Goes in for it, does claim it, and is still alive, but ultimately denied here by Praetor, who gets the double, gets the ace, and seemingly now gets the GG condition. Oh, so that's terrifying, the fact that they are winning so comfortably a 4v5. Oh. Here's the hex gate, and there's another <laughs> one the other way. He's hopped in the taxi and said, no, no, you will not find me. Counter move. Where's he going to go? Where is he? Surely he's not recalling. He was. He was hiding in that bush. He's going to have to deny himself, but I think he's already taken damage. He could go on a magical journey. Oh, my God, he's got he's another hex He's done it again. Game. Into the waiting he's after that. He's a <laughs> No, he's gone upwards instead of going down. He's got <laughs> Where are we cone. going, Poltron? Go, Poltron! We're flashing! Blast cone, run! Has he done it? Houdini. Who, I don't know how he's pulled this one out. He's got <laughs> three people chasing. Oh, it's Kisei's turn. He's altered. Oh, Kisei's like, all right. Use the hex gate. Where are you going? Where's another hex gate? I need to find a way out. Click, point. <laughs> no Goodbye. Way. He's actually done it. <laughs> Is there anyone? on planet Earth that's better at League of Legends than the jungler of Direwolves. Unbelievable. He just got them the Drake. He just solo got them the Drake. Ari ulted for that play. That might be the best League of Legends player in the universe.